It's not just soap operas or dramas featuring actresses. Female news reporters have been ordered to wear headscarves on camera. It's the latest rollback of women's rights since President Biden turned Afghanistan over to the Taliban. It's the latest setback for women under the oppressive ultra-religious Taliban rule. Female news presenters must now wear headscarves when delivering the news. Men on screen must wear proper clothes, although new guidelines don't specify what's considered proper. Afghanistan's Ministry for the Propagation of Virtue and the Prevention of Vice issued eight directives, the first ever imposed on Afghan media. The list includes no women in television dramas or entertainment shows. Films that go against Sharia law are banned. Comedy shows considered insulting are banned. Men are no longer allowed to show their abs. No films featuring foreign values. The tough new media rules come from a Taliban that seized power when President Biden pulled all U.S. troops in August, leaving the Afghan people to fend for themselves. Azita Ghani Zada is an Afghan-American actress born in Kabul. She blasted the new Taliban guidelines on Twitter, saying, we knew this was coming. First decade of me working, I was threatened from afar with rape and violence for being on TV as if telling stories is murderous and vile, like their actions in the name of religion. Artists in Afghanistan are also fearful of the Taliban as they enforce their harsh interpretation of Islam and restrict women from public life. This man would only give his first name and ask that his face not be shown. I think art and artists are going to be history in Afghanistan. And if it continues like this, art activities will be gone for good. 20-year-old Musa destroyed much of his own work after being threatened by the Taliban. The young artist draws portraits of people, and many of his subjects are women, which is prohibited. The Taliban's earlier decision to force girls and young women to stay home from school made Afghanistan the only country in the world to bar half of its population from getting an education. The mayor of Kabul also told all female municipal employees to stay home unless their jobs could not be filled by a man. Reporting from the Old City in Jerusalem for Newsmax, I'm Daniel Cohen. An unfortunate update there, Daniel. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.